Hello and welcome back to the Uncommonwealth Achievement Run, episode number four. Let's get going. Um, right, it's just chatting with Twitch chat, or rather talking at them. Um, probably gonna when Moscow Moscow's truce with Novgorod um, ends in two years, so he'll probably immediately declare war again because he doesn't actually have the mission at the moment. Which is unusual, but he's basically programmed to eat all of this, so you imagine he'll declare war. When that happens, I'll declare, or if he declares in the Golden Hall, I'll declare Moscow as well. In the meantime, I think we'll eat Crimea just because it's not very nice land, but I'd rather not have him there. Just my opinion of that one. Right. I'm going to call back from. Brandenburg and get one of these claims fabricated. Austria is still the Empire. In this recent patch, Austria just does this. Okay. Eats this is actually him not eating that much. He just eats everything normally. This is quite a restrained Austria. And he's just always re elected. Oh. Bohemia, you wonderful, wonderful man. Wow. He really shouldn't be writing to me. Oh, he's not ready to me, he's ready to Poland, I was going to say. Blind. Right, let's get some manpower back. Please stop rebelling. I love you all, I promise. We're very, very nearly getting 10 a month. Oh. Who are my current rivals? Because I almost get my power projection back up. I don't know why I rival Denmark. I'm never going to be able to get anything from him. I suppose I could get... I could fabricate and declare war, but... As long as he still has his unions, I have no interest in doing that at all. I mean, he's got very positive prestige. Poland, if your leader could die. I had a chance to beat Poland, but instead of rivaling him and not getting a truce time of losing my alliance, I dissolved my alliance and tried to wait five years. Not the most sensible move I've ever done. So that, then, that screwed me up a little bit. Which wasn't very sensible. Right, minus two national unrest. I mean, uh, all of these, other than the one that's just fired. Wow. It's going down as well. So that means it's not going to fire. That's amazing. I clicked that just in time. That's actually hilarious. And once again, minus two national unrest is just so powerful. As you've just seen there, it stopped me from fighting rebels. Hi, engineer. Right, engineer. Nothing wrong. There we go. It's my first claim. Nothing wrong with 40 military points. Got my second claim. Hmm, definitely crime there. Six troops. There they are. My eight mercs should be enough to handle that situation. Discovered. When you're discovered so early on, it's better just to recall and send again. Because that will take four years from there, so. I'm very nearly at the point where I can boost my prestige for 100 papal influence. Very tempted to take Defender of the Faith for the extra missionary. I'm gonna do it. I will not defend. Although, being the Orthodox religion, it's only really Moscow, and I don't see anyone actually declaring war on them, so. I mean, there's some little people down here, but I don't... I'm not going to defend Serbia against the Ottomans, am I? Let's be serious. There's only one person who's going to win that, and it's definitely not me. Right. Um... I have such unbalanced like units at the moment. I don't really know how I've managed that. That should be the next thing I fix. I will just send an inventory down here to even them up. Yeah. Most unfortunate. And we will come back from you and go to the next place then. Not like I'm short on promises to convert. 
Tech five against very nearly tech six. Tech seven even. Ooh. We'll get to tech seven and declare war because it will give me military tactics advantage. Oh wow, let me guess. Money and prestige for loyalty, yes. The nation of Aragon. Tunis is allied with the Ottomans and Granada. Who is Aragon? Okay. Aragon is getting, like, royally, royally ruined by France. And he's like... Let, let's, let's go attack another nation. It's a great idea. Oh. I'm an idiot. He's attacked Aragon. That makes more sense. Yeah, I'll defend you. I'm not going to do anything. I thought you only got called into defensive wars. I'm... I'm clearly not as knowledgeable as I think I am. I will. Haha, <laughs> by Aragon. Yeah. That is. France is just like numbing. Numbing on these mountains. Naval race. How far? That's exactly what I needed. Plus turn. I'm going to wait till the end of the year for that. Just to make it cheaper. Conquer some province. I have no idea where it is. Ooh. Rival arrival in England. I can't declare war on him because he's allied with Poland. That's a very good way of getting rid of my. I'll still get a truce time with him though. Yeah. I'm gonna cycle. I don't want any of them. Lol, which mod is this? Um, uh, it's vanilla because I'm doing an achievement run, but. Um, this is called the Commonwealth Ball mod or something like that. Can't actually remember what it's called, top of my head. And I've got some sort of border effects on. I can't remember what they are off top of my head. It's awesome. I like the little faces. It makes quite a sort of serious game a bit more fun and lighthearted. A bit less sort of deep and thinking about it all the time. I am going to move these troops down here for this war. In case Kazan tries to come help his little sort of ally. There is the end of the year. That's now. Doesn't cost me anything extra. Clear this wall. Yeah. I managed to steal Moscow from him, but he's still got all this high development land. If he built up his army, because he's a lucky nation as well, he could literally come and wreck me quite happily. Oh, Kazani isn't even going to defend him. That's fun. What a great time to declare war then. Boom. Let's put up my mercenaries, save my manpower, which is always nice. Get that back up near 30, we'll be very happy. Do I have a siege leader at the moment? No. Three leaders, and I can't manage to get a siege leader. I'm actually very quickly slipping towards 25. I need a war with Muscovy. How long till that can happen? June 84, how fun. Cool. That lasted long. Where's he got all these troops from? Oh, That's his last thousand, okay. I completely read that wrong. Oh wow. Just so the whole world knows I'm the slowest person ever. I am, although my entire country is orthodox, I am Catholic, so becoming defender of the faith. Yeah. I, yeah, wow. Um, Ottomans, please don't come meet me. We're friends, right? Right, Ottomans? Friends. Whoops. 
The only saving grace is he's never going to get access there, and he's never going to get access around here. So unless he lands troops, I'm pretty safe. Oh, wow. That was so dense of me. He has lands down here. That's how he keeps training troops. I don't want your land down there, though. Oh, well. Let's go attack it. Sending them up one at a time is really not very sensible. Oh, well. He seemed to have fun doing it, so I guess that's fine. That's all the war score I need. Um, You can revoke that core. I don't want you to be my vassal. I do want your money, though. And a bit of extra prestige is always nice. There we go. I'll take your money as well, why not? Yeah, that is becoming actually quite high. Don't want that to get too much higher. I don't see this war going anywhere. Wow, that's a lot of battles there. Portugal is requesting that I come to their age. Again, I'm going to join, but I'm not doing anything in that war. I have no interest in it. I'm all the way over on the other side of the world. That did nothing to my missions. I'll cycle that mission then. Just got rid of the mission I cycled. How fun. Really? They're going to rebel either way. I'm so tempted I can not decrease my autonomy when I'm at war. That's a good point. I don't think I'm going to increase the autonomy though. Because they're going to rebel either way. Like, it literally doesn't make a difference what I do. Clergy? Yeah, clergy. Give them a high development province. Shut them up, basically. Can't give them my capital. 12, 10. There we go. No longer moaning. How fun. Actually, I will keep them split. Go 15 in each province. Give you this guy. Don't really want my leader in the battle. Well, if my leader dies, it'll cost me two spurs, but I'll actually get some legitimacy again. And not have this long, long list of rebels. 10 prestige, yeah. I'll always trade the prestige for the points as a general rule. I'm going to pray for his life. And he died. I haven't had a new heir. Wow. You're 35 and you had one son? What's wrong with you? Is your wife ugly? Wow. You're such a nice leader. I hope you don't die. Who are my current rebel, uh, rivals even? The really boring micromanaging part of the game where I'm like, oh... Pathfus 2. I think that's how you pronounce that. I really don't know. Thank you for following. The main fun part of people following is me not being able to pronounce your names. Did or are you going humanist? Yeah, I took humanist first. I was going to go religious to try and get the conversions done, but just rebels are just horrible, horrible people. And humanist is such an overpowered idea group as well. It just Once you get it completed, just... Yeah, except to the one is 50%, it's just amazing. Although I'm actually alright with most of my cultures at the moment, which is always quite nice. It just basically stops you losing your culture. Madifus? I can't ride that one either. God. Humanist is best for Commonwealth. Madifus. Yeah, Madifux? God knows. You wonderful, wonderful people. Looming disaster, yay! If any of you have watched the second episode of this, I managed to escape from having the Peasants War by, it was on 99% and it didn't fire. I really don't know how. It was quite entertaining though. All I've learned from recording this game is I literally know nothing about it. Like, the more I play, I just realise I just know absolutely nothing and things I think are true, they like changed like four expansion packs ago. So yeah, so it's always quite entertaining. 
Uh, I'm finding and do that mission because it keeps coming up and why not? Let's go back around to my allies, Poland. You're very happy. And then you Northern, not so much. Actually, change plan. Get this claim on um, Moscovy's vassal. Have either of you done the Uncommonwealth achievement? Or well, anyone watching at the moment? Like, how do you think I'm going about it the right way? Sort of easing this way and then turning back around on Poland and waiting to see if he can fall in a union under me or claim his throne. It's sort of my general idea. It should be quite easy because I start as a huge powerful nation, but you are sort of between Europe and Moscovy. Sani Kursk? Santa Crush is now following. Thank you. Is that showing up on the Twitch stream? I assume it is. It's meant to. Oh, uh, it's two different types of Separatists. Ooh. Then they probably neither of them would fire, actually, if I increase on me. That's interesting. Right, let's take, well, get ready to take the next tolerance of heretics. is always nice to avoid revolt risk. And I also get land leader shock plus one, which is even better. Uh, Agent was discovered. It's so close to the end. I'll leave that. Way Saint performs a miracle. What a wonderful event to have. And you know what? We're going to go to free prestige. Isn't that fun? Once again, me not noticing something I should have been noticing. Never. I... I'm working assumption this is my capital trade node. Yes, it is. What a crap capital trade node to have. Like, fishing from here doesn't matter because it's all going that way anyway. Because I own most of the land. Although I don't own the important center of trade. I don't know either, actually. It doesn't seem to matter. You're allied with Austria. Perfect. Separatists are based on the country they want to join. What should happen in Turk? Yeah, I know they are based on, but I took both these from Crimea. I didn't realize that this one is Crimean and that one's Mishba. Because, again, this just used to all be Mishba. And it used to all want to flip to one country. But I think that was two Spanish packs ago, they actually split up the Mishva culture group. Which is actually a massive pain in the arse for getting any accepted culture. Because it's all different cultures now. And I also my admin tech is five. Which is non existent you should. Although I am fifth in score, although that doesn't really mean anything at all. Thirty <laughs> fifth in Diplo rank. Boom. I'm not fighting 17 rebels. Oh, actually, I'm near my manpower limit. Where are they? Just once again, just gonna search because I have no idea where any provinces are in the world. Yeah, let's fight them, why not? Not for the autonomy change is always nice. National unrest boss one. Ah, I'll survive. Aragon. Ah, I don't really care, I'm not gonna lie. Right. Our advisor has died, I'll dip that, oh no. Cool guy spy offense. I'm not gonna take anything other than a level one. At the moment, I don't see the point. I would be tempted to take a level two admin, because I'm trying to get through that idea group, but having um, missionary strength is just too important in early game, especially with especially playing as Poland because that is just disgusting. Mm. I'd love to be able to attack this way and take some more Catholic land, but yeah. Just gonna cycle that mission. Nessie's broken his alliance. Nope, still not for Poland, so I'm gonna cycle that mission. I know plus one is bad, but I've got minus two from taking the humanist idea group. 
so I'm still netting down overall. That's sort of my theory on that one. Uh, let's go back to making my allies nice and happy. Too many, yeah, that's all that's telling me. I don't want to lose it. Uh, military points each month, so let's fire one. Congratulations to Maneuver Guy. You are no longer important to me. I'd rather have shock. Not losing stability. I don't care if you're my ally. I go to improve relations with him and immediately get a bad event towards him. That's fun. We've lost minus 10. That's fun. Let's get that back as quickly as possible for this game. Back down here to the two provinces. Boom and boom. Right, I might as well do something with you guys. Don't really, really mind where you go. I don't really understand why this is pushing to the Baltic Sea. Or why I actually have anyone there at all. How have I not noticed that before? Seeing as Kiev is my capital. Let's take you out another road. That is so stupid a paradox. Very well. Let's come down here and just push. There's no point in doing anything else. Got no Orthodox Zealots at the moment. I have no idea how I lost that. Oh, because that's going to be another lost one by the way that's going. Actually, it might be a white piece. I'm not going to take that back while that war's still going, because if he pieces out for a loss, I'm going to lose Defender of the Faith. I'm not having a weak claim. It's not worth it. It's caused me so much hassle having this one weak claim guy. And I immediately lost all my ships. Genius. Absolute genius. He is not very more on anyone. Does that mean he wants to play war on me? Probably. I would love so much to come and eat some of your land. How many troops have you got? Let me guess. You've maxed your forces on it again? No. This is the weakest I've ever seen in Moscovy. Like, run. And I don't know why. I know I've taken his capital and he didn't manage to get Novgorod's capital. But he's really, really weak. It's very unusual. Right, let's come back from England. Oh, that's so close. To, uh, I know I've still got a truce with him at the moment. Just seeing. Let's use that and see if he'll join now. No. Distant war is just too much. You've got 15 troops. You're going to be very useful. Although I'm betting you want both of those provinces. No. Before the war starts, I'll set both of them as vital interests to stop him from doing it. And then he has to swim to me. Because he hasn't got a claim on either. That is actually going to happen very soon. Um, June next year, by the looks of things. It'd be very nice if these rebels with fire. Livonian order, of oh, course, cool. that's fine. Bohemia, with your hog. I can go around and spend 10 favors on all of you guys. Lots more on you. That many. Wow. Having allies since the start of the game apparently does matter quite a lot. And neither of them are very powerful though, unfortunately. Brandenburg in the recent patch quite often balloons out, but in this for me, in this particular run he hasn't unfortunately. Come on, both rebels fire. You know you want to. Rival of our rival Venice, Cyclone Mission, fuck off. Fire. I don't know. Oh. That was me pressing space too often there. Gain five legitimacy. I think we dealt with both of them. Nope. Although oh, there was actually a bit of revolt risk in crime there. 
Do you fancy walking into my army? I doubt it. Let's just go attack you then. That disgusting noise that you all just heard is the timer. That was really painful on me as well, so I'm going to turn that down. Oh, my ears. Oh. Right. YouTube, you wonderful people, click the like button if you enjoyed, the subscribe button if you want to see more, the dislike button if you're a horrible person, and comment if you have anything cool or interesting to say. Thanks a lot for watching.